Hello from the Avondale Library. Today I'm here to bring you a Valentine. Uh, today's Valentine is Porcupining. It's a prickly love story by Lisa Wheeler. The illustrations are by Jane Bynum. Now, Cushion is a porcupine. There you see him right there. And he, actually he's a porcupine with a banjo. So I guess I'm gonna need a banjo to tell this story. Oh, let, let me get my banjo. Um, oh yeah, here's my air banjo. I need to make sure it's in tune. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. Now, Cushion was a porcupine with a problem. He lived in a petting zoo, and that was the, the problem. No one would pet a porcupine. In fact, there were signs on his habitat that said, do not touch. And another one that said, keep out. And worst of all, there was a sign that said, no petting. Now, all the other animals in the petting zoo got pets and they got pats, but not cushion. All the other animals in the petting zoo had family and someone to love, but not cushion. In fact, every night, Cushion would sit in the darkest corner of his house and he would sing his sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life. No one will come near. I'm porcupining for a wife. Someone to hold me dear. And he would sing that song every night. But one night, he thought, you know, if a wife won't come looking for me, I'll go looking for a wife. So he went that night after the zoo was closed over to the rabbit hutch and he sang his sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life. I guess I can't be picky. I'm porcupining for a wife and rabbits aren't too icky. But for some reason, those rabbits got hopping mad. Get out of here, pin cushion, they said. Who would want to marry you? Well thought, cushion. Um, I. I guess some folks are a little jumpy. I need a wife who's a little more easygoing like me. So he went on over to the pig pen and he sang his sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life and though you're pink and fat, I'm porcupining for a wife, so I won't mention that. But that sow just turned her back on him with a, hmm. Well thought, Cushion, I guess some folks are a little stuck up. I need me a wife with a, well, a better sense of humor. So he went on down to where the beavers lived and, and were swimming around because, you know, beavers always seem like they were a good sort. And he saw a beaver sunning, mooning, sunning herself in the moonlight. And he went over and he sang his sad, sad song. I've been so lonesome all my life And though your teeth are bucky I'm porcupining for a wife And you're a gal who's lucky But for some reason, that beaver said, Get out of here! Who would want to love someone like you? Who would marry someone like you? And with that, she turned around and she splashed water with her tail, wetting cushion from head to toe, he and his banjo. And he was about ready to give up when suddenly he heard, psst. Who said that? Said cushion, psst, over here. Cushion tried to get closer, but he heard someone say, stop, stop, don't get any closer. Can't you read the signs? And Cushion looked, do not touch, keep out. And worst of all, no petting. Are you dangerous? Said Cushion. Well, no, I'm a hedgehog. I've got quills. Well, 
I've got quills too, said Cushion. I'm a porcupine. Well, that hedgehog came out into the light and she said, my name is Barbara, but you can call me Barb. Cushion looked at her. He had never seen anything lovelier. And he said, you don't look like a hedge or a hog. You're lovely. And she said, you don't look like a pork or a pine. You're outstanding. Cushion's heart just filled with joy. And so he was ready to sing his sad, sad song. But for some reason, it wasn't nearly as sad anymore. He sang, I've been so lonesome all my life, though I've met Barb so fair. I'm porcupine and for a wife. We'll make a perfect pair. And of course they did. Or else, what would be the point to this story? Happy Valentine's Day.